This is section B, consists of 55 marks. Answer all the questions in the spaces provided. Uh, question number 15A. Figure 10 shows a wooden block of volume 90 centimeter cube floating with a third of its body submerged in water of density 1 gram per centimeter cube uh, and the gravitational force is uh, 10 newtons per kg now uh, so we have our diagram this is the wooden block a third of it is submerged so we have this is two that uh, so we have water okay uh, we have determine the weight of the block weight of the block is equals to updraft or we can put it in full and say uh, weight is equals to updraft which is the same as uh, the mass of uh, or the weight of the uh, some of the displaced fluid and for us to calculate that we use uh, we are going to use uh, the volume can use the volume or the mass uh, you are you use a density and you use a gravitational force so this is equal to the volume underwater is a third of 90 90 and the volume uh, is a uh, in centimeter cube so to convert to meter cube we divide by 1 million 1 million because we are going to use newton per meter cube uh, then you multiply by uh, to, to convert that you multiply by a thousand and you multiply by 10 so we have changed the density from uh, as gram per centimeter cube to uh, kilogram per meter cube and when you compute this you should be able to get 3.0.3 uh, newtons uh, alternative method alternatively you can say uh, we calculate weight is equals to mass multiplied by the gravitational force uh, we can get the mass mass is equals to a third of 90 multiplied by 1 that will give us 30 grams so with that we can now say weight is equals to 30 uh, divided by a thousand 30 grams divided by a thousand to make them kilograms and you multiply by the gravitational force or gravitational acceleration using that formula so when you compute that you should as well get 0 0.3 uh, grams so that is the weight uh, of the block let's go to roman number two of the question so this is part B, uh, part a roman number two the same diagram set up with the weight of a metal block that can be placed uh, onto the block so that its top surface in the, on the same level as the water surface so we had said uh, uh, in part a two thirds of uh, the wood block is uh, over water a third is the one that is under water uh, we have also said that updraft is equal to the weight of the uh, displaced uh, displaced uh, liquid uh, which we have said it is vp that is volume we can use a volume or mass and uh, density and uh, the and the gravitational force which is equals to the volume that is to be pressed or to be submerged is uh, 90 minus 30 because already at the other of uh, a third of the wood is underwater uh, then you multiply by the density uh, the density is uh, in uh, the density is in uh, newtons per kilogram so what we do we divide this by a, a, a million that is to convert 
uh, centimeter to meter cube so that we are able to use a newton per meter cube uh, the, de the, the, the density is 1 gram per centimeter cube so when you convert to ki kilogram per meter cube you multiply by a thousand and then you multiply by the gravitational force or acceleration which is 10 and when you compute that you should be able to get uh, 0 0.6 newtons so that is uh, the, the weight that should be placed here so that uh, the whole of the the top of the wood is on the same level with the with the liquid the, the liquid or with water uh, another method we can use is that we can say weight is equals to mass times the gravitational for uh, acceleration uh, but mass is equals to volume multiplied by the density uh, which we can say this is equals to the volume sub to be submerged which is to that is 60 as we have seen here 60 centimeter cube and uh, you multiply by the gravity uh, by the density which is one so that gives you 60 grams when you get 60 grams uh, so we say weight is equals to mass multiplied by the gravitational acceleration which is equals to the mass is 60 grams to convert to kilogram you divide by a thousand and you multiply by the gravitational uh, acceleration of, for, of acceleration of force which is 10 and when you compute that you still end up with 0 0.6 newtons so you can either use this method or you can use this method both of them you, you will be able to arrive to the same answer let's go to part uh, the next part question number 15 b figure 11 shows a solid metal suspended in oil using a thread so we have the thread we have the sphere the beaker and the oil roman number one other than up thrust so up thrust is the one is a force that is resisting the the, the sphere from uh, uh sinking downwards or the the force that is exerted by the oil these two other forces acting on the sphere uh, so one of them is tension the tension is a force exerted by the string uh, the other force is a uh, weight or you can say mg mass times gravitational force uh, the, the the pull due to the gravitational force a Roman number two, the oil is carefree and gradually drawn from the beaker. State the effect on each of the forces in Roman number in, in Roman number one by over 15b what Roman number one. So what you happen because when you reduce the oil, uh, it means the upthrust will reduce and therefore tension will increase. The tension force will increase. Uh, because now the, the less less volume is submerged in water so you can say tension force tension force will increase uh, the other force that we have mentioned is the weight uh, the weight will remain the same so the weight uh, mg uh, will remain the same uh, since mass will not change and neither is a gravitational uh, force or gravitational acceleration so that is how you answer that and uh, you'll be able to get uh, those four marks